Hello everyone, Trancher Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. So today's video is going to be something really, really different, but it's a really nice video to do as well. And I really need to give thanks to a couple of people. So, um, before I get into the whole video, um, I did a video that went up on Saturday, which was filmed in one take and uploaded with no editing. And the original video that I had planned for that day, I was going to do this at the end of that video, but then as I figured I'd mention most of the things I wanted to talk about in the Saturday's video, I'm going to just scrap that video. Which is a real shame, because, oh, and down comes Yuna. Let's just open the glass for her so she can come out. Um, it's a real shame because I really enjoyed the video and I spoke about quite a few points, um, which I probably lost that conversation now as far as the conversation went in that video, but I guess one of the things I was talking about was just that um, that was not very graceful, you know. So one of the things I was talking about in that video was basically that uh, this is Yuna, the green iguana. She's just been uh, just climbed down off her perch, and she is. Uh, oh, you want to go back down now? Oh. Back down she goes. You want to come back up? Yeah, it's a good job of uh, claws aren't sharp. <laughs> oh, I say that, you know, her claws are really sharp. I've got like, i got scars all over me from her. Anyway, one of the things I was talking about in that video basically was that I have the pleasure of knowing some of the nicest people when it comes to animal and invert sort of care in the UK. I've got a really good network of well, a network of people that have just became very good, very close friends. Now, the reason I was talking about friends was because at this point, I plugged in the Tarantula Chili Challenge, which of course was sent by Petco. Um, he actually um, has done this sort of challenge, which I am working on, and uh, he's challenged me because that's what friends do. They challenge friends to eat really hot food and things like that, which for anyone that's been asking me, I am doing the chilli challenge, I do have the hot sauce, I have my raise for him, and I hope to have that video up on Saturday. That's that's the goal. But I then had another friend tag me, and I'm going to put a clip of that now, just so you can see what it is that's going on. So today, I'm going to make a sauce for Petco, the Dark Den, and Tranchle Dan. Tranchle Dan's a mate of mine. <coughs> I had to walk away. <coughs> oh, that's going to be a good one. So that is Gar, or Predator, or Prey Online, as many of you will know him on the internet. Now, Gar is one of the most... <sighs> what are you doing? You going down? I'm going to go back down. <sighs> and she's going to wander around, and then she's going to probably come back up now. Probably really scratched. You're good. You stand down there now. You, st you stand down there. Don't go in the corner. So anyway, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. Look at this again. I like getting my animals out on and filming because it's fun. Um, although it doesn't make things go very smoothly. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gar or Predator or Prey Online, as many of you will know him. I have the pleasure of. Uh, knowing him personally, and I would class Gar as a very good friend, as he said in his video, um, and he has made me a chili sauce, a chili hot sauce, using a um, hundred different peppers. Now it came in this box, wrapped lovely in bubble wrap with some poly chips, and I have actually already tried it, of course, um, making sure that my address is covered up and things as well. Oh. You want to come up again? I didn't pick her up, she literally just uh... Well, so rather than going through, she tried to clamp up and over me. Hey, what's the matter? So Gar has very kindly sent me this hot, hot sauce. Um, he's made this with 100 chilies. Yuna, please just be quiet. I'm trying to do a video. Yeah. 
You can come out, but please don't climb, okay? <sighs> Let's try this again. So Gar has very kindly sent me this hot sauce. Now he's made this himself using 100 different chilies that he has personally grown. So this is not like a gift that he has just bought for me from like a supermarket. He has grown the chilies, he has uh, prepared the hot sauce and he sent it me as well. And I am aware that he's also sent this to um, another friend of mine, which of course is Petco the Dark Den. So I want to sort of do a video. Now I was thinking about doing like a challenge to eat and enjoy this. However, I do have quite a high tolerance for hot food, um, so this isn't that hot for me. I can actually eat this. I actually have, a, to give you an idea of my tolerance, I actually have a teaspoon. I'm going to just sort of eat right, like that. So I'll make sure I get to have a good stir of it and uh, then I'll enjoy it. You know, what do you want? What do you want? And this is the beauty of having iguanas. Go on then. You can't stay there. And if you can, she's just like. <laughs> Go on. Can you come up more? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Not really sure what she's doing, she's just being a bit of a, I think she just wants to just, just sort of keep climbing. Are you enjoying yourself? Just being a pest on you. I've lost my trail of sort of thought so many times during this video. It should be a really straightforward video, just to unbox it, show it, and eat it. However, I can't do that because she's being a pain. If it's not you, know it's Ramsey, but that one's all scratched again now. I can't remember exactly where I was, but basically, uh, yeah, there's a few peppers in this. One's really, really sweet. I think the Scotch bonnet is like 100,000 score bills, I think it was, or 150,000. And I think there's a pepper in here which is 1.2 to 2.2 million score bills. So this is uh, really, really hot, and I saw um, Gar when he made it, and he sampled it and that. And like I said, I was gonna do a challenge where I was gonna eat this as a, some kind of a forfeit, but after trying it, um, I didn't feel it was sort of hot enough for me, uh, for me to be able to do that. Um, so, all right, you, now, you cannot be messing around now. I'm gonna try it, and I can't have you sort of being a pain, okay? So you're either in your tank, or you're out. Working with animals is great fun. Okay then, so I am actually going to be trying this now. I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a swirl up. And the reason that I want to sort of do this is, one, to give a huge shout out to Gar from Federal Prey Online. There will be an annotation to his channel at the end of the video. In fact, there'll be a link to the video, where, the full video to where he made this as an annotation. I'll put a card up here, or here, whichever side it is, so uh, you can have a look. But I wanted to sort of show what the community does. Now I'm not in the Tarantula YouTube community, I'm not involved with all of that, I don't, I don't have the time for it. But that doesn't mean I won't do things with people, I will still help people when I can, I will still work with people and do fun things. I just don't want to be part of this big sort of YouTube Tarantula group, because it's just, it's not for me, it's not for me. Um, but Gar has been a good friend of mine for, you know, for, for several years now, and uh, I think he's really nice that he's made this for me. You know, now is not the time to don't, don't irritate me now. So I'll show you this uh, colour-wise, uh, very much like Tabasco sauce, and texture-wise, very similar as well. If you can sort of see the consistency, 
you probably won't be able to, but I don't want to pour it out. It smells. Oh, I thought one knows it. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a very sort of hot Tabasco sauce. But uh but quite sweet, it smells sweet as well. I'm gonna give this a good stir. As you can see. A heat teaspoon. So yeah, my eyes are still watering a little bit, but very um, very warm around the mouth. Very sort of yeah, it burns a little bit. Throat's nice and warm, as if you've as if like drinking uh, like whiskey, yeah, like burning sensation, but really, really sweet. Um, I would happily have this on most foods. To be fair, I would dip chicken in it or pour it on top of chips or as a cooking sauce. It's lovely. And if I didn't have this rule about double dipping, I would have some more of that. I don't know whether I could like. I guess I could kind of like pour some. Under there. So nice. Really, really nice. So, to Gar at Predator Crown Line, a huge, huge thank you for this hot sauce. It is, whew, that was quite a, quite a good kick then. It is really, really nice, really, really sweet. Tastes lovely, smells lovely, texture is lovely. And uh, I really just want to thank you for taking the time for doing this. Uh, if you are interested in anything hot and spicy, uh, Gar, his other passion as well as tarantulas and inverts is hot sauce and chilies. So uh, please go and check out Gar. Gar again, a huge thank you for the hot sauce. I I really like it. Like I say, I'm not. I could eat that plenty, you know. And uh, I really hope that you look forward to the. Are you gonna stop making noise. I really hope that you look forward to the tarantula hot sauce challenge that I'm going to be doing. I hope to have that video up on Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday, uh, which of course is the challenge set by Pitco the Dog Den. You'll, there'll be annotations for both of their channels at the end, probably like down here, and then there'll be a link to the Pitco and Predator Crown Line heat video as well. So please check out those videos, let them know that you came from me, and uh, if you are in the UK or maybe in Europe, I don't know whether you can sell into Europe, but actually yeah, you can sell to Europe because he's sending it to Pitco. If you are in um, the UK or Europe, I don't think Gar sells this, but if ever you hear of him selling hot sauce, please buy it. It's really, really tasty. It is hot. Uh, believe me, I just have a, I have a very hot, um, high tolerance to heat. It is absolutely amazing hot sauce. I think if you like hot sauce, you'll also enjoy it. I'm sure um, if he has any left or he makes any in the future, he may, uh, you know, set it up. I don't know what I'll call it. I did actually take a photo, which I put on screen, of some ideas for this, including some uh, names for the video. I think one of them was called Gargling Gars Hot Sauce, um, which <laughs> is quite disgusting. Um, but yeah, a, a huge thank you, Gar. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please check out the two channels I mentioned, and uh, let me know what you think below. And uh, let me know how you think I'm going to do in the Petco Challenge. Um, I actually have the exact same hot sauce as Pitco, uh, which is 135,000 Scoville's, plus I have another hot sauce of my own to raise the stakes. So, uh, hope you all enjoy the future videos. Thank you as always to my patrons for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And with that said, everyone, have a lovely day, take care, and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Goodbye from everyone. Take care.